Yesterday we talked about a Warzone Pro and streamer, that being Mutex, caught with an old Cronus program on his PC. What he says was actually his streaming PC, not even his gaming PC, a very, very old setup, and something he did formerly use, and went on to explain exactly why. Now, of course, someone like Bad Boy Beeman hopped on this right away, instantly calling it 100% cheating, despite the fact that Mutex actually did explain himself, I thought, pretty well, and now several Warzone Pros and streamers have come to to his defense on the topic something that we have talked long about have been the accusations of someone like BBB who just kind of uh, formulates these things out of midair and doesn't even look at the explanations of those accused which I thought Mutex did a fairly good job given the circumstances of yeah right away at face value when someone is caught with Cronus on their desktop that's a really bad look I think we can all admit that but he did go on to explain and give proof as to exactly why. Dickhead, you're chilling, bro. It's as simple as that. Like, if you're in here to complain about how I stream and how I do content, you're going to get permabanned. It's as simple as that, bro. Just be here and enjoy the vibe. And if you don't like it, here, I'll give you guys a tutorial on how to leave a stream. Ready? This is how you leave a stream. You ready, guys? So, there's two ways. There's a big, there's a little X right here, up here. Yodi, what's up, Twitter? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, I just want to address the whole Corona situation. Some guy clipped my streaming desktop today, and it showed that I had the old Cronus program, the Cronus Pro. I don't know if it's up to date or if it's the same program people use today, but I used to use a Cronus back in the day when I used to compete in World War II. Now, if some of you guys are uneducated in the... MLG platform or the CDL platform, the competitive Call of Duty platform from way back in the day when we used to compete on land. So in the same venue, um, some professional players would bring their own Cronus because most Cronuses that were given at those venues had a lot of issues. They had delays and stuff like that. So a lot of the pros that were competing would buy their own Cronus and they would practice with it like scrimming at home. <clears throat> so yeah, I had a Cronus back then and I would use it at, my, at, at the land events uh, after practicing with it at home and uh, every one of those Cronuses has a tournament mode so when you turn that tournament mode on it has a green light and it basically disables any type of mod that you could possibly put on the Cronus and uh, anyone that competed back then or would go to venues back then would can 100% vouch for me so yeah uh, my streaming PC is very outdated I've been saying it for months now that I need a new streaming PC and that it's very outdated I have like a 1060 super graphics card in that like it's super old and uh yeah i forgot to delete the program because i don't use it anymore and it's just irrelevant to me you know so that is why you guys found the cronus program um if you watch my streams every day and i mean like if you actually tune in from like the first second of the stream to the last you know that i prove that i don't use any type of bullshit cronus or any walls vpn third-party services for better aim soft any of that shit right and mutex by the way a former call of duty pro the first time i covered this guy was not in a good light so if you guys think i'm coming from a biased area no i actually covered him first when he was a call of duty pro that did not work out and now he is a warzone pro and streamer so everything he did say actually was true formerly cod pros especially when it was not an online era when you went to a cod land most of the time it was required to have a cronus that way you would have no interference from the bluetooth and of course all the cellular devices at these land events when they were at full capacity every Everyone comes in and all of a sudden everyone who's there is interfering with all the controllers at play thus the Cronus was placed in tournament mode to lessen that interference and someone like Mutex and these COD pros would practice at home with the Cronus to get used to the input delay or the delay in general so when they went to LAN and had to plug it in tournament mode they would be used to playing with that Cronus delay. All of that is 100% true. It can be proven. Other pros will back this up. And that's what Mutex explains. No. Nope. My Cronus program was there from back in the day. Like I said, the Cronus Pro, not the Cronus Zen, the Cronus Pro. Okay. People used it back in the day at LAN events. Yes. I used the tournament mode, so I didn't get Bluetooth lag. I, of course, I'm going to tell you guys that this computer was is five years old. 
I didn't delete my shit because I don't care. It's an outdated PC and all I did was use it for streaming, you know? It's not even my gaming PC. I haven't used that program in literally four to five years. Why would I fucking care to leave it on my desktop or use it or anything like that? I, I left it there because I just, I don't use it. I forgot it was even there. It's been that long. It literally hasn't come across my mind to delete it because I just don't care to use it. Back then, nobody really cared about the Cronus. Everyone knew people used it because for the tournament mode, you know what I mean? Like... You're full of shit. Yo, Red Caught, I'm going to expect a reply from you in approximately 20 minutes, okay? When we're done watching this video, I'm going to hop into a plunder and I'm going to rip kids right in front of your own eyes. And you're going to see I have no Cronus connected and you're going to be like, wow, man, I really am an ignorant fuck. I'm so sorry, Mutex, for believing this fucking dumbass on YouTube, okay? Right. And then you add on top of that someone who consistently records with a controller cam and I do believe his explanation even on top of that you have other pros formerly of Call of Duty some of whom actually have joined the Warzone movement now defending him to me that makes sense as an explanation. He will continue to actually apparently uh, a live stream with that that hand camera as well and continue to probably fry and do just as well. And so I guess let the future tell whether or not he is telling the truth. But my main issue is how after that explanation can you actually say in a title and video that he is 100% cheating when his explanation was 100% true and it made a lot of sense. And then he still gets blatantly accused the harassment this guy has probably faced. Oh man, you, I don't think a lot of people understand the harassment that someone like Bad Boy Beeman can send someone's way after directly 100% blatantly accusing someone of cheating, even though his explanation is very believable. And go check out yesterday's video with his full explanation. We actually have an old clip from Karma a very well-known notorious Call of Duty pro confirming uh, the Cronus usage on land for former Call of Duty pros and thus sometimes having to practice at a home setup with a Cronus, which explains why he would have the Cronus application, the old Cronus, by the way, that he has apparently not touched for several years, even someone like Aiden a very respected Warzone pro, one of the first to respond, clearly trolling Mutex in his response. Nice lies, Pootex. You finally get caught and now you're gonna pretend like nothing happened? We've all been saying this for months now. Even Bad Boy Beeman, and that guy knows everyone that hacks, and you've been on that list, so keep trying to dodge, you know, everything that's going on and yeah just keep your chronos updated kid you're a fucking pussy and then jay god hops in actually quoting mutex who said hey bad boy beeman i think mutex just proved he does not cheat as he links his own stream over an hour explaining himself and showing gameplay and responding to bad boy beeman's video i encourage you guys to check it out jay god goes and sadly even with all that proof the misleading video is still up no apology given nothing zlander responding of course because he's notorious for how bad boy beeman treated his situation slandering names by cutting clips and leaving out vital information making clips look extra sus misleading easily manipulated people and profiting off of it still don't understand how this rat has credibility when it's already been proven and then you have raided coming in from 100 thieves saying i'm dying to see some bad boy beaming gameplay or to hear about his stacked history playing as a competitive player because he seems to think he knows it all literally gagging to see him roam the dance and nrg isaac also stepping in saying steph curry is cheating i went to the free throw line and only made 30 percent of my shots but Steph somehow makes 90% no way funny how all the other pros are defending him too that's because the NBA is paying them all off to make more money a common bad boy beam in theory is that all these top warzone streamers and pros are covering for each other so they can make more money it's a pretty whack theory but that's what he's referencing there he continues this is what these clowns sound like when they accuse warzone pros of cheating they act like they should magically be as good as the guys who spent their entire childhood and adulthood playing competitively we didn't cry cheat when we lost growing up we grinded to get better and if you wanted more proof that bad boy does not really put too much thought into his videos he does manipulate an audience all right the z laner thing that he somehow Render, it's a rendering issue. If you guys don't, don't remember, go check it out. The Z laner thing where he manipulated clips at the very moment, the most condemning piece of his video, took out a few frames, and then goes on to call it a rendering error. I've rendered over 4,000 videos in the past two and a half years and never had a single spot in my video have a few clips be cut away at the exact moment of a condemning piece of evidence. 
It's idiotic what some people believe out there. Mutex goes on to actually watch his video back on stream and prove some of the things that BBB puts out there and just doesn't even think a second thought about that are just blatantly incorrect and he still says 100% cheating. It's totally wrong. Can't see the wire plugged into his controller. We will find the clip now though. Okay, so this wire that's plugged into his controller here looks to have the Cronus logo on it. The wire he's got <laughs> using now looks... <laughs> Wait for this, wait for this chat, wait for this. <laughs> it looks like it's the same wire, right? Am I right? It looks like the same wire? Cronus logo, eh? Yo, shout out Battle Beaver. Shout out Battle Beaver. Shout out Battle Beaver. <laughs> you fucking dumbass, Beeman. You, you're such a dumb fuck, bro. Shout out Battle Beaver, bro. BBC, baby. Battle Beaver. Let's go. Battle Beaver controllers. Cronus logo, guys. Remember... Listen to Bad Boy Beeman, Cronus logo. Fucking meathead, bro. Identical to the one that comes with the Cronus set. Now, you guys are probably thinking, are we making a video on Mutex based on his aim because of a wire that he's using? You can actually see it very vague, but it looks identical to the logo <laughs> on the Cronus Zen wire. Latest Cronus Zen mouse keyboard converter for PS4 or whatever, okay? So we're actually on a website that's selling it now. Look at the price of that. Ridiculous. There we go. As you can see here, that's the logo that comes on the wire with the Cronus Zen. Okay. That logo right there is what we are looking at now. So we just go back here. So I see some people saying, why are you reacting? I'm literally getting fucking abused in my Twitter mentions. I'm getting a lot of hate that I just don't deserve. I get this every day, man. It really is shitty. Like, it sucks. You guys are like, yo, just ignore it, but you don't get it. It floods my mentions. I can't even see my genuine replies from my genuine supporters because I have gremlins that support this guy come into my Twitter and abuse me and say I'm a fucking rat. Once a rat, always a rat. Scumbag, you suck. You got caught in 4K. All this shit. That's why I'm reacting to it. I'm putting my foot down, man. This is ridiculous. This guy's a fucking clown and he needs to be... I need, like, I want his channel removed. I don't like this guy. His sole purpose to making content is to shit on other streamers' names. He's already attacked Zlaner. He's attacking me. I'm sure he's attacked other content creators that just are not sus at all. It's just ridiculous, bro. You know, this guy is just a fucking asshole. He's and this is the same exact stuff he did with Faye Swag. Remember we accused him of a strike pack? Even convincing Nick Merckx with the video he put out there. Then Swag explains himself. And it's... Those two blue lights got to be a strike pack. And it's not. It's just him taking the paddles off. And doesn't go on to further apologize. Doesn't go on to further explain. My main issue with Bad Boy Beeman is he clearly targets all the big names out there. Always says 100% cheating. And then when they respond, he never apologizes or takes back anything. That, what? I mean, you are literally ruining people's lives. You are sending a harassing audience their way based off things that are not conclusive evidence that you are acting as if it is. And you do have a wide reach. These people get comments and DMs and messages and in their, of course, their live stream feeds every day because of you. How do you live with yourself doing this when you cannot take back anything that you've done so incorrectly? It blows my mind. At the end of the day, at face value, it looks suspect. What Mutex was doing was he was caught with a Cronus. But his explanation and all the defense and further talk, it made sense. At least to me, but you guys can also have your own opinion. And I guess we'll keep on waiting to see if Mutex does as well now as he has in his, his tenure so far in Warzone, which is pretty credible. Until next time, take care of yourselves. I'll catch you back here sometime soon. Uh, drink some water. I need some.